G'day everyone, Lauren Cress here. Welcome to uh, another episode of The Cheat Sheets. Just a really quick one for podcasters out there who have had this frustration. It's really hard to find answers on this and I'm hoping that this will help you. So basically what I want to talk about is how your podcast artwork, when you change your podcast artwork, um, you can end up not having it change. Often it's only on iTunes that doesn't change. So you could have Spotify, your artwork changes, everywhere else your artwork changes, but it doesn't change on iTunes. Now, the when I've come across this problem has been recently when I moved my podcast, I migrated it from Spreaker to Substack. And I've just included, a, um, a, like you know, on the screen, you can see um, sort of a, a bit of my email. So I'll just scroll through that so you can see. Basically, this was... Um, the new artwork, the refill your fire one, and this was the old one. Now, initially, what happened was um, I was I I changed the artwork. Um, I could see that it was uploaded in the settings and everything. However, when I actually looked at um, the individual posts, and that's what I um, included here, it was showing this old one still, the stick with it one. So. Um, on Spotify, it was showing the new one, but um, on Apple Podcasts and on Substack, even though it had the new image uploaded, it was also showing this old one. So I was kind of like, okay, I'm pretty sure this is a Substack issue. Contacted Substack. Substack initially said, no, it's an iTunes issue. And then I went and tried to troubleshoot with iTunes and I was like, no, it's a Substack issue because what iTunes seems to be saying is if you're tagging the image the same way, or you're getting the feed from the old feed as you're migrating the podcast. And look, I don't understand too much about this technique from a technical perspective, but it was it was basically like iTunes was like, it's not our problem. And Substack was like, it's not our problem. And I believe this happens with other podcasting hosts too. I've hosted my podcasts with a bunch of um, different places and I've had numerous podcasts and I've run into this problem a few times. Usually if you go to Apple Podcasts and you refresh the feed, you'll end up being able to resolve the issue. In this case, it didn't happen. So I was like, I'm pretty sure this is Substack. Anyway, after some more troubleshooting, um, I did get a response and let me just find it. Basically, in this case, um, Substack said, look, where I've talked to the engineers. Um, the engineers can look into this further, but actually this is our issue and they didn't have a time frame for fixing it. So um, they admitted, yes, this is actually a bug on our end. Um, and they, they couldn't get it, get it to change either. So I was like, okay, this is frustrating. I was kind of like, should I just go back to another, um, platform? Now I was getting kind of frustrated with it because the new branding and the old branding are so, so different. So it wasn't just like, um, you know, I changed the artwork a little bit. It was like dramatically different and it was pretty confusing, for my audience. So I was like, okay, I I don't know what else to do. What I ended up doing, what my solution was, was I actually, and this is a bit of a hassle, but I think it's useful for a lot of people out there who are like, I want to use this, like I want to use Substack because I also blog. So I'm like, this is quite a useful place to do everything. I really like this idea. So what I ended up doing is I actually migrated the podcast over to Acast because Acast had a free, um, you can upload as many episodes as you want for free. So you could my, I could migrate my whole 130 episodes over to Acast. But after I'd put new episodes up with the new artwork, then migrated it straight back and that immediately solved the problem. I just went over to Apple Podcasts, I refreshed the feed and everything was fine. Now, whether you're using Substack or, you know, whatever it is that you're using, um, even though it's a little bit painful, I think this is the best way to do it. So if you head over to migrating your podcast somewhere else and then you migrate it back to your preferred platform, um, that seems to fix the issue. There's nothing really out there about this, so I just wanted to share it. Again, I know it's not the most um, seamless, you know, process. So um I hope that helps. If you want more um, information about how to migrate podcasts, there's lots of stuff out there. That part's actually relatively easy. It's just this particular bug 
that podcast hosts more than one seem to have, um, it can be a little bit finicky to to work out. And basically I got a re- response saying like, we're, we're not going to be fixing this bug anytime soon. So I hope that helps. Um, I would love to have you as a subscriber to my YouTube channel. Um, we're just about to reach a million views, which is pretty, pretty exciting. And uh, yeah, I, I publish like content on, you know, stuff like this where I'm just like, I'm creating content to this is the problems I've run into along with cheat sheets for your life, your career and your business as well. So I hope you find it useful. And if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. Appreciate it. Bye.